Hi, and welcome to Lo-Fi Dev. Now we're going to be making a controlling AI here. So I've already built out a little maze here from cubes. So the first thing we're going to have to do is build the navigation. So if we select all the objects that make up our level here and set them to static, and then we jump over to the navigation window, we can hit Window, AI, Navigation to bring it up. Hit Bake, and that should bake out our navigation. Now the blue areas are going to be where our AI will be able to walk. So we're going to create him now. If we go Capsule, let's just bring him up to level that. I've made a red material here. I'm just going to chuck that on him. So there's a couple of things we'll need to do. We'll need to add a nav mesh agent. And we're going to leave the values at default for now. And we're going to add a new script, which I'm going to call enemy AI. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go using unity engine dot AI. That will let us get our nav mesh agent. So at the top, we're going to go nav mesh agent, and we'll call this agent. In start, we want to get a reference to that. So if we get agent equals get component nav mesh agent. There we go. Now there's a few variables we're going to need for this script. We're going to need an array of the different waypoints we're going to move between. We need an integer to pick which of those waypoints we're going to go to. And we'll need a vector three to be our target destination. So I'm going to go public transform waypoints, uh, integer, waypoint index, and vector3 target. So we'll need a couple of methods for this script. The first one is going to update our target position and set our agent's destination to that target. The second one is going to increase the waypoint index so that we'll go to the next waypoint. So I'll start with the first one. We'll call this update destination. We'll set the target to waypoints, waypoint index dot position. So that will get the position of our current waypoint. And I want to go agent dot set destination target. So that's going to set the nav mesh agent's destination to our target position. Our next method we're going to call iterate waypoint index. So we're going to increase waypoint index by one. If waypoint index is equal to waypoints.length. then we're going to set it back to zero. So this means when we reach the last waypoint, we're going to go back to the first one. Now an update, we're going to have to check if our distance to our target is less than a certain amount. And if it is, we want to iterate our waypoint and update our destination. So we go if vector three dot distance transform dot position and target. If this is less than one, we want to iterate waypoint index and update destination. We'll also have to call update destination in start so that we have somewhere to go when the game begins. So to go over it one more time, we have an array of waypoints and an index for choosing them. If our distance to our target is less than one meter, we're going to increase the waypoint index by one. If the waypoint index is equal to the number of waypoints we have, we'll set it back to zero. Then we're going to update our destination, which will set our target to our current waypoint, and we'll set the nav mesh agent's destination to target. Now, if we return to our scene, we're ready to add waypoints for our enemy to follow. So we're going to add an empty object and name it waypoint. And we're going to give it a gizmo just up here. That'll make it easier to see in our scene. I'm going to set the position. Uh, I'll reset the position for a start. I'll set our Y to 1. And I'll put that over there. And we'll duplicate it and move it around. There we go. 
we're going to go to our enemy and scroll down to our enemy AI script. Now we're going to lock the inspector up the top right here and select all of our waypoints and drag them into the waypoints list. So now if we hit play, our enemy should move between each of the waypoints. We'll jump over to our scene view. And five, and he restarts. There we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.